Charm is deceitful and beauty is vain, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. As I sit here and wonder, thinking about the words to use, trying to show you just how precious you are. He created you with love, pouring all of his unique beauty into you, breathing life into your curves, exhilarating, fascinating you. There is none other like you. You're a woman, you're a girl, you're a daughter, you're a mother, you're beautiful, you. You're his love song, each tone unique, a wonderful sound to his ears. He's designed your beauty, your very innermost being. Through his sacrifice, you've been anointed, clothed in righteousness. As his daughter, he has crowned you, blessed with strength and rare beauty. Sculpted you to be a temple for the Holy Spirit, where he can reside and shine, wanting you to be his light. Yet you must view yourself as an object, object of desire to draw attention. All you're making is the wrong impression. Don't let your desire for fashion be more important than your faith. How can you say you make a vow to keep it, yet you show it all to Victoria's Secret? Don't you know you're worth so much more? Clothe yourself in his righteousness, leaving that unclean spirit behind and stop being bait for another man's mind. God himself clothed the holy of holies in veil. Girl, don't settle thinking your lack of clothing is your bill of sale. You, me, we are his daughters, daughters of the most high. Let me set this straight. You have to understand this weight. That means you are a daughter, inheritor, a princess and beloved, not of some unseen spirit or of an empty cross. You are of his, Emmanuel, great I am, anointed one, the almighty, everlasting, alpha and omega fortress, maker, master, lord of lords, Jehovah Nisi, king of kings and lamb of God. Understand his love and who you are. Precious, he calls us to purity, honorable behavior, of a discerning spirit and of a modest look. Look, he's not asking you to dress in robes and hide in shame. He knows your beauty far more than you can even comprehend. Look at yourself close up and realize that kind of love will not fill you up. Be the one who is drenched in Proverbs 31. Ask him to renew a right spirit within, a woman of noble character, instilling confidence and bringing nothing but good. Clothed with strength and dignity, be of sound mind, wrapped in purity. Guarding your heart, your mind, and your spirit. Dress yourself in him. Let your outward appearance be a reflection of your inheritance. Have you ever seen a princess clothed in rags, skin showing, and face painted like a joker? No, don't settle for mediocre, for you are his. Don't forget that. His ruby, his pearl, his love, his bride. Let that reflect on your outside. Adorn yourself, professing godliness, understanding your feminine by divine design, dressing modestly with decency and propriety. Modesty results from the purity for our minds. So if our mind plays such a vital part, shouldn't we dress our bodies in the ways that reflect our heart? For he has said, you are not your own. You are bought at a price. Do I have to say this twice? Therefore, honor God with your body and understand you are not just somebody. Remember, this was his sacrifice. You have been clothed in righteousness. As his daughters, he has crowned you, blessed with strength and rare beauty, sculpted every last inch of you to be a temple where he can reside, where he can shine, where you can be his light. For you are his daughters, your daughters of the Most High. Me, oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in your way everlasting. <laughs>